Hey everybody, it's that time again. Hi Lord Tamerlane with Scurdy's Miniature. Got a bag. What bag is it? It looks to be another bag from Shadows of Brimstone. It looks like a bag that I can't open because my fingernails are so freaking short. I did it! All right, what are we looking at today? Oh, I know what this is because there's a Tengu dude. This must be the court, no, the, the court of the fallen. These are the bad dude mini bosses. So this is the blind Tengu master. The keenest eye is that which looks inward. This would be the red Ronin. This would be the undead Daimyo. Uh, can I read that? Sort of, kind of, but I'm going to check with my kids and make sure I say it correctly. Interesting that the kanji is actually printed onto the banner there. Really nice gold. Hmm. Let's see what his face looks like. Oh, he's dead, Jim. And last up is the fat dude with the whip. Yeah, I got it right. This is like the taskmaster kind of guy or something. All right. Well, you know what? He's in my hand first, so I'm going to put him together first. How about that? So what does he consist of mainly? We've got the body itself. This must be his backside. Yep, okay, that's easy enough. His head looking nice and grimacy and portly. And his whip. That's not too bad. What, four pieces? We can handle that, right, people? Right, let's go put them together. All right, so we got our first two models put together because I don't know how to count. Here's our evil Taskmaster guy. Now, first things first, this was a super easy model to build. So all you whiners online, oh, no, I have to build the model. It's so many parts. It's four freaking parts. It's his butt and his back, his hand and his head. It wasn't that bad. You can do it. I believe in you. Through the power of positivity, you can get this guy put together. It's not that big a deal. I have no idea if I put his hand on correctly, though. I'm assuming since he's a bit chunkier than the others, he's going to go on the 40 millimeter base because it... Looks like it suits him. Yeah. And you can see him here hanging out with our brimstone samurai. I also built the undead daimyo just because he was handy. And if my poor Japanese skills work, this should say, should say Shino Shogun, which is what my kid told me too, which is what I thought, but we both could be wrong, like the Shogun of Death, yeah. Uh, be wary. Be wary of cutting out the parts with the blades. The hilts do not want to stay together. I almost broke off the dagger's hilt, and you can see that it's completely missing off the off the sword there. It did not even want to cooperate, and I was trying to be careful. So don't be me. Do better than me. You can do it. It's not that hard. I would have glued it back on, but it catapulted across the room, and who knows where it is now. I'm sure it's going to get sucked up in the vacuum the next time I vacuum this weekend. So... Otherwise, he's pretty cool. I gotta say, I do like the armor is quite detailed. The banner is quite detailed. I don't know which base he's supposed to be on. Seems like he fits pretty decently on the. No, I'm gonna guess he goes on the 30 millimeter base. He seems like it. That flag is very top heavy, so you're gonna want to glue him down, obviously. And then, shall we look at our red Ronin friend? I'm quite afraid now of trying to trim off those swords. That feels like it's going to be a problem. I'm going to be extra careful with those. And his head with the bandana headband waving around. Our flying monk friend, the Tengu that was defeated by the dragon, if I read the fluff correctly. I have no idea where those wing parts are going to go. I'm guessing these are going to go on the tips right there because there's little plugs there, so that shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully I can get his pole arm out in one piece, as well as his hair. Does he have a long nose? He does have a longish nose, so that's a good sign. Gotta make sure the tango are done correctly. He's quite detailed, too. I do like his bird feet. You can never have enough actual tango in that little bird men, but actual honest-to-goodness dudes with long noses and wings. So, Give me a sec, we're going to put these guys together as well and see how they turn out. Alright, we're back with the next two mini-bosses. And here is our Tengu friend. And be aware that his nose did not want to cooperate coming off the sprue for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Now, I was bad. I didn't actually glue his backpack on because I kind of actually want to paint both. And it's not like it's a really complicated 
mold or build job. You basically, you have his body, his head, and his hand. And I mean, there is a little flexibility in which direction you want to angle his pole arm there, but otherwise he is pretty static in terms of what you're going to do with him. And I'm going to take a wild guess that our other 40 millimeter base is going to go with him. Now, I have absolutely no idea if I built his backpack correctly. I'm assuming so because it looked weird with these two wing tips on the other ends. And it makes sense. It looks like it would look all right if it folded down. But you got to know what? I don't care if I got it wrong because the only person who's going to know is me and the entire internet. So you can all tut tut me later, especially if you see me in person with these. I'm sure I know who's going to be complaining. I know who you are. You can keep your mouth closed. And then we have our red Ronin friend. And I have no idea if I actually put his scabbards on and this hand still looks kind of weird and his head still kind of making me scratch my own, but I think I got him correctly. And I do like the fact he seems kind of bigger. And yeah, he, he's a little bit bigger. So here is our hero and here is the red Ronin locked intimately out of focus on each other's bases dude come on there you go so yeah he he does have a little bit of a beef with him compared to him and he's carrying plenty of heads i like his armor is quite thick he, he's just quite a thick model himself Didically. woman so yeah very dynamic sculpt especially for what we've seen from flying frog which bodes well for their Shadows of Brimstone Adventures. I do like his pose. I'm hoping that I got this second arm on correctly. It looks a little weird. He's like swinging it way back. But despite that, I'm quite happy with how he turned out. So a cool little expansion. Um, knocking bases of some sort off the table there. I know they had a bunch of cards with him. I have no idea what any of them do. I know he gets to go collect trophies or something. I don't know what's up. This game's got so much crazy stuff going on, and you can always homebrew something. If you're not happy with it yourself, hell, I might just use him as my own hero because he looks badass. Why use him when I can use, you know, Mr. Boring? Oh, look at me. I've got a helmet and armor, and I'm so dignified and refined. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go write poetry and drink tea. And this dude's like, screw that. I'm chopping heads and, you know, making a heavy metal cover. Yo, what's up? So, I don't know. And then there's the blind Tengu, and I, I can't help but think of Jinx from G.I. Joe the movie way back when. That's that's a terrible, terrible, uh, I don't know what the word is I'm thinking of. My mind went blank. How I related Jinx and her blind ninja master. It's the whole keenest eye is that which looks inward. You know that's what he's up to. I think he blinded himself after he lost his wings. Training. But yeah, these bosses, mini bosses, quite cool. Um... They're not super ultra gigantic like some of the other XL enemies that you'll find in Shadows of Brimstone, but they still look like they're going to put up a fight nonetheless. They're also good sized figures. Beats me what they'll ever be at retail, considering what a crazy deal those Kickstarters were and are and always will be. And if you ever have a chance to get in on a Flying Frog one, like their uh, Shadows of Brimstone Adventures one, which is going to get going, you might want to do that because they really are a crazy value. And these guys... Look like they're going to add a lot of fun. Plus, they're going to be a lot of fun to paint, and I'm sure I can get a lot of gaming bang for my buck with them, or if you ever hunt them down at retail. So these are the four, I don't know what they're called. The court, I thought they were called the Court of the Fallen, but I could be wrong, but they're all in the mini boss pack. I'll put the correct title in the comments and the title below. So take a look for them, and honestly, don't be too worried about putting them together because they were really easy, other than his blades hilts, which were kind of infinitesimally small but that said as i said i have a chain reaction this is a high lord tamberlane with obscurities in miniature saying sayonara